I'm here with Jane Stevenson. We're going to be talking about the Grammy Awards this Sunday, the 60th Annual Grammy Awards. Jane, what are they going to be doing different this year? Who are you looking forward to seeing? Well, it's an interesting year. We've got a, a Me Too and Time's Up movement. So they've just announced some of the female leaders in music are going to wear uh, white roses on the red carpet to acknowledge this movement. Uh, so far, people like Kelly Clarkson have said yes. Tom Morello is going to wear one. So we'll see how many white roses we see on the red carpet this year. And then there's the show itself. Uh, the Grammys are notorious for adding people last minute. So right now, believe it or not, Jay-Z, the most nominated artist of this year with eight nominations, hasn't confirmed to perform. Wow. So we're all waiting to see Jay-Z. Will he or won't he? I think he will. Won't, don't you? Yeah. He, I mean, he'd be great to close the show. I mean, the Grammys always have a great closing act. Mm -hmm. I think he could be really good. I'm really excited to see Bruno Mars. Yeah. Bruno Mars sure. with Cardi B and SZA. Like, yeah. I think that could be really amazing. And who could forget Pink, uh, the American Music Awards, performed on the side of a building? What if she did this on the Empire State Building? It's, <laughs> I think it's, it's going to be a little too cold for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we can hope and dream. I mean, it's New York City. It's the 60th anniversary. They're going to play up all of the performances are really big this year. Who are you looking forward to seeing on the red carpet, though, fashion-wise? Uh, well, i got to go with Lady Gaga. This is a woman who was in an egg for, like, 72 hours one year before the Grammys. What that egg must have smelled like I don't even want to think about it but she ma she knows how to make an entrance and that's what we like about the Grammys they're kookier they're wilder mm -hmm, they definitely. take more fashion chances on the red carpet so it'll be a fun one to watch my pick is Miley Cyrus who's gonna be performing with Elton John okay <laughs> record of the year okay well I think uh, Mark if you can pronounce this Despacito all the way whether you love it or hate it it was a song last summer you could not go anywhere without hearing and it features Canada's own Justin Bieber I mean he basically took a song by two Puerto Rican artists yeah. and turned it into a worldwide hit yeah I think it's unstoppable I mean it's like total earworm it just gets in your head and you yeah. can't get it out what about album of the year I'm gonna go with Jay-Z this was a huge album for Jay-Z yeah. it followed Beyonce his wife's lemonade he actually apologized to her on this album for a yeah. past infidelity. How many artists do you know that do yeah. that? Yeah, it was really revelatory. It was something completely different for Jay-Z in terms of him live playing some of those songs. Yeah. I thought it was one of the best concerts I saw last year. Best new artist, that's probably one of the most competitive categories. Mm -hmm. There's so many great artists sure. nominated there. Who do you like? Well, I like Brampton's Alicia Cara. She has been on our radar for a couple of years here in Canada. She's exploded, I'd say, in the last year. Uh, she's on songs with uh, Logic, which she's going to perform at yeah. the Grammys on Sunday night. Uh, she is kind of unstoppable right now, I think. I like Khalid. I think Khalid's got one of the best new voices that I've heard in probably the last 10 years. So I'm really rooting for him. Super nice guy as well. Okay, James Corden as host. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs down from me, only because I don't think he brought that much to last year's show. And I'm kind of James Corden out. I don't know about you. What do you think? No, thumbs up. I'm really excited. I think he's really great. And he's a great fit for a lot of the artists that will be there on Sunday night. Uh, let us know what you think down below on Facebook. Leave us a comment or tweet us at the Toronto Sun.